And hello, my lovely Leos. It is Tori, the hope dealer of guided intuition. And here is your monthly spiritual message from spirit, your guides, the universe, the Holy Spirit, whatever you identify <laughs> with. This is what spirit wants you to pay attention to in the month of June, my lovely. And as from this title, yes, we are about to have an adult conversation, understand it's just me and you here. I don't care who's watching it. We're not all watching together, okay? It's literally just me and you in this moment, okay? However, Leo, spirit wants to gift you with love. However, you're holding on to something that you have to let go of. For a lot of you, I'm feeling like it's physically and it could be energetically, okay? For the ones that are single, okay? But for the ones that are in a relationship and it's not popping, okay? then this is a message for you. And for the my singles, my singles, there's someone that you are holding on, some trauma, past betrayal that you're holding on to energetically that is blocking you from receiving the love that is yours. Spirit wants to give you. The universe wants to bring that love that you have been cultivating in your vortex. However, it can't come to you, okay? And I'm I so like... FYI, if you would like to schedule or book a personal reading with me, you can find all that information in the description box on the About Me page. Thank you guys for the donations to my channel. You guys are amazing. I'm so sorry, Leo. It's just that I really want to like get into this message. Y'all know, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, chime in. I will chime back. Make sure you hit the bell button to get my notifications when I post, okay? So, yeah, let's get into this, okay? Because I really want you guys to, um, you know, get all that you can for the month of June. Because I'm telling you, once this release happens, once you let go of whatever you've been harboring or holding on to that's tangible or energetically, this, this individual that is coming into your life concerning love is going to be one of for the books, okay? I'm talking about fairy tale kind of stuff going on here. All right, my Leos. Okay, all right, my babies. Oh, okay, so if you are new to my channel, how I do my monthly spiritual message from spirit is right up here. We have what is crowning Leo in the month of June. I hope I didn't say May. <laughs> I don't know why I'm living in May, but June. Okay, we're in June. Okay, over here to the left is the message that spirit has for Leo concerning love in the month of June. Over here to the right. Is what Leo needs to pay attention to in the month of June that can ultimately bring you fulfillment. And at the bottom right here, okay, is what spirit wants you to keep at the forefront of your mind in the month of June, okay? Don't worry, I'll bring the cards here so you can see. So sorry, I just want to drink some of my, my um, speaking truth syndrome water. <laughs> I love to put my crystals in my water. So yeah, as I was saying, it's okay. And as always, this video is a general reading, okay? It will not resonate with everybody, okay? If it doesn't, it's okay, my lovely. There are so many amazing individuals on social media who are sharing their gifts. You are bound to find someone that picks up on your energy, okay? So don't fret it. And also, you can book a... You can, um... Book a personal reading with me where it's just your energy, okay? And also, if this is resonating, you might want to go more in depth and get more details. This situation, feel free. You can go ahead and, you know, book a um, personal reading and I'll schedule you in, my love. <laughs> okay, so here we go. So what is crowning Leo in the month of, oh my God, I have to pause. I have to put my chapstick on. Okay, I'm back. Here we go. <laughs> okay. So what is crowning Leo in the month of June? Okay. All right. For one, um, I spirit is showing me that some of you are in the nurturing stage to of yourself. So you have could just already physically walked away from this person or this situation that no longer served you however you are in the process of nurturing yourself restoring yourself an inner healing is taking place for some of you okay coupled with solitude okay communion this talks about you going one-on-one -on -one with spirit 
isolating yourself, okay, which is needed, so don't worry, because in that quiet time, in that isolation with you and source is when you're shape-shifting. You go to create the reality and the outcome that you want. You go to create the love that you want. You go to create the job that you want. You go to create whatever it is you want, okay, in solitude, and it takes you doing the inner work, so that's beautiful. So hey, 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 hey. Not all. Some in the June, I see in June, this is this is what June is holding for you, okay? You're nurturing those wounds and taking care of your time after that whatever the situation you got out of, okay? You went to a time of solitude, okay? Communion with spirit, and now you are currently shape, shaping and shifting your future, okay? Also, for um some of you, I feel as though you are grounding yourself when it comes to love. Nurturing and pouring in in yourself so the same mistake doesn't happen. And for some of you, I'm feeling like you need to, Spirit is telling you to ground yourself when concerning love. Okay? Okay? Ground yourself. Okay, so sorry. Ground yourself when it comes to love. That's what Spirit is asking you to do right now. Um, because like I told you, there is something that you just walked away from or you need to walk away from that it was requiring you to ground yourself, grounding, and it's dealing with love. Okay? So that's what I'm um, seeing too for um, my lovelies. Also, you have the destroyer. These illusions that you have painted for yourself, these illusions or these limits that you have put on your your love life, um, your your career life, um, yourself. Spirit is telling you in the month of June, you have the power to, and the strength to destroy these false illusions that you that no longer suit you. Okay, that might have been good for you last year. However, it's not good for you this year. And Spirit is saying that you have the power in you to destroy and break down these false limitations that you put on yourself. Okay. Or this relationship that, you know, I'm feeling like you, know, you have what it takes to, to pull yourself out of this relationship, to walk away. Okay? That's what spirit is. And coupled with you already know. Okay? And for some of you that already worked out, walked out of it, spirit is saying, you know, a physical outlet. You need Maybe you need to reconnect with your passion, dance, and writing. You need to get all of that out instead of harboring that energy because it's just sitting there. Okay? So spirit is asking you to, you know, do the necessary when it comes to that. Um, also, I feel what's crowning some of you um, guys. You are, oh, this is so cute. <laughs> um, I'm so sorry. I'm like, literally, let me get over here. Um, I feel like health, your health wise, you're really um, pouring into yourself, taking care, exercising, eating healthy. And if you, if you're not, you're on, you're on the way to doing that. And spirit is guiding you to do that and this is your um confirmation <laughs> you know really want to start um taking care of your body um for some of you not all okay some small few um however it's going to benefit you in the long long run if you've been having like uh health complications with your body or me mentally eating healthy eating more vegetables and fruits okay are going to help heal you and prevent what could possibly, you know, whatever is properly trying to, you know, manifest in your life or come about, okay? Also, I see a lot of you are focused on co-creating and creating that reality that you see in your mind. You're bringing it to, um, you're currently, you know, working your magic to bring that in a tangible form. And that could be a relationship. That could be a job. That can just be you. It could be anything. But I see that a lot of you are really manifesting and, and doing saying affirmations and speaking positive po positively about yourself and your life and an outcome so spirit is spirit hears that okay spirit sees that so you guys are um you know doing something a lot i see a lot of you for some leo's your cleaning house <laughs> it says learn something new and i feel like you're learning that with your friendships okay any kind of ship business ship, friendship, relationship. However, spirit is asking you to have compassion. I feel like some of you might be, you know, even though you're right, you know, you have every credit, every right to be 
angered or whatever it is or deal with it however you see fit spirit is asking you to show compassion even though it probably wasn't given to you show compassion learn something new okay and then for a lot of you i see that you are taking the time out you know in this moment you know to learn something new to to rediscover and relight your passion and what you want in life and you get what i'm saying yeah, so that's what is that is what is crowning Leo in the month of June. Now we're gonna go right over here and see what message that spirit has for Leo concerning love in the month of June. Okay. Ah, okay. Now for some of you, my singles, okay, my singles that are you know not you're you're available however maybe you had to clear this person out a little bit out of your energy or if not okay um you your feelings are real and worth exploring someone has um piqued your interest or someone is going to come into your life and pique your interest okay spirit is cautioning you to flirt you know extend your light-hearted energy to others okay leo this is not the time to be shy, okay? This is a time to show that loud, bold, bolder than life attitude and attributes that you have about yourself, okay? It's time to indulge in heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other, okay? So this could be someone, I'm feeling like for some of you, you have already met this little person, y'all in the honeymoon stage, beginning stage. Don't be afraid like um, to have those heart-to-heart -heart conversations, okay? Okay. I know you feel like it might be new, but this is the, this person is into that stuff. They're not really into small talk, okay? They're into deep and, okay? <laughs> so they really grab, grab that, okay? Also, I'm feel, like I said, I feel like this is the um, is something fairly new for you guys. And if you haven't came into it yet, when you do meet this person, okay? When you meet this person, don't be afraid to have those heart to heart conversations. Okay. They are, they are a person that they like to talk. They like to go deep. Okay. Also, okay. So also I'm seeing that it's time to disconnect from the world. So don't be afraid to like, for some of you could be learning something new as in opening your feelings and expressing yourself. Because maybe you guys don't, Leo's don't like to do that. However, spirit is saying it's time to disconnect from the world Get to know this person, have heart-to-heart -heart conversations, okay? Because this could be the one, guys. However, if you're closed off of you, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, you you know, you know, you know what you're doing, okay? You already know. Okay, it says religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Okay, so maybe that's why you're not so keen on opening up to a person, this person that's going to be coming in or or that's already there. Maybe you guys view different spiritual, you know, spiritual beliefs. However, um, spirit is saying, you know, you can be this person's way into the light. Okay, that's all I'm going to say about that. Now, I have to be um, honest. Okay, some of you that need to walk away from a relationship, this is telling your story. You guys met. You have romantic feelings. Okay, you guys flirted and chopped it up. Okay. You guys retreated, okay, and came into it, okay? Um, you guys had heart-to-heart -heart conversations, okay? It was everything in the beginning, okay? However, you have that couple with religious factors. Your love life is being influenced by your religious upbringing or spiritual path, okay? I believe right now, though, where you guys are currently, you and this person have outgrown each other, and I feel like it's around spirituality. Let's just be real, okay? Um, <clears throat> you know it's time to cut ties. However, I feel like, you know... For whatever reason, Leo, um, I didn't go in depth because it's a general reason. I'm pretty sure I could go in depth personally and see why. Um, but for whatever reason, you're not walking away. Okay, you're not mourning. You're not mourning it. You're not walking away from this union ship. And spirit is your intuition is telling you it's over. It's done. And the reason why you've been feeling this heavy lately is because spirit wants to gift you with the with the love that truly balances you, that you guys truly mirror each other, that you're on the same page, that it's not a tug and war, that it's not a fight, that is there's no, you know what I'm saying, they're consistent, you're consistent, you're, they're loyal, you're loyal. And they really want to bring you a reflection of yourself. However, you need to shed this old relationship, okay? This, it was good for the old you, but it's not good for the new you, okay? So spirit is telling you to leave. So this new love can come in and this could be energetically 
or physically. Remember, this new love can come in and be like a breath of fresh air, bring you happiness, leave you empowered, okay? Leave you in ecstasy, okay? Not like the other words doing the opposite. Because you guys, it's a it's a it's a clash with with spiritual it's with something with spirit spiritual. It's a clash. It could be you guys believe something different. It could be that you just have different views and opinions about spirituality or you just don't feel like y'all connect spiritually and that's okay and the reason why is you know because maybe they show their head maybe they show their ass in a sense okay you see them for what they really are not what they tried to portray in the beginning okay spirit it cautioned you to go ahead and free yourself from the situation however i'm feeling like this might be like something long term or something like really heavy because like embedded because you have, it's going to take dedication to free yourself from this person. Okay, this person is all up in you energetically. Yes, fucker. Excuse me. Yeah, they're all in you energetically. Okay, but um, and because you have the um, Knight of Swords talks about a horse being free, while wow, how it was reversed. So it's going to take some dedication to free yourself. Like I told you, that you've outgrown this person. This relationship leaves you in lack. It's not. You get what I'm saying? And you're going to start. You're going to see this. If it's not already happening, really in the month of June, you're going to see this. So Spirit is saying, just go ahead and release yourself so this new vibrant love that reflects you and is you can come in. You have that with the Ten of Arrows. You know, Take heed to your intuition. Your intuition is speaking to you. Your intuition led you here. So take heed of that, okay? Also, we're going to go right over here. Let me clean this up. We're going to go right over here to the right. And this is what does Leo need to focus on in the month of June that can ultimately bring the fulfillment, okay? So this is what you need to focus on in the month of June. You need to focus on moving. You have the wanderer, okay? And this is someone who is going into the unknown. And maybe that's scary. Maybe you've been in this relationship a long time or maybe you left, but like they're all you know or they, you, they just, even though it's new or fresh, they just... You just threw everything in. You know what I'm saying? Like you had those heart to heart conversations. You like gave them your their heart, your heart. So it's kind of hard to like wonder, you know, go into the new. You don't know what's around the corner. But spirit is saying it's time. You need to like go because you're walking from hell into the water, you know, to the aces of vessels, the waters of life. Okay. You've been through it in this relationship or this partnership or whatever energetically, you know, that you're still holding on to that you can't get over, you know, the betrayal. I grab it. I know that. I know. I know all too well that story about the hurt. However, Spirit is saying you're strong enough. You have the queen of bows, okay? This didn't break you. You're still here. You're still standing, Leo. Okay? I know it's been a struggle, okay? Mentally and physically to move forth or move on. But you can do it. You have, you know, you know what I'm saying? I know. Okay, you have the knight of arrows. You know, a hawk is able to see the bigger perspective, okay? They can fly high and see a... Uh, a little worm wiggling out the ground, okay? So spirit is asking you to have like a hawk mentality on your inside. Yeah, it happened. However, it happened for your better. You're a better person behind it. I bet you can honestly say that no one will ever do that shit to you again. Can't you? I know you can. Okay? It's time for you to um, take the king of bows and stand up and take leadership, okay? Take leadership of your life, of your love life. What you want and what you don't want. It's time for you to take leadership. And that's your challenge. Especially with this person. With this situation. Okay. It's unclear. You're scared to move away. I don't. You know. I, like I said. It's a general reading. But you're, you're fearing something. But I'm telling you. There's nothing to fear. You should fear keeping in. Staying in this relationship. Okay. And not taking the care. Getting the necessary healing you need. Okay. Because this relationship is blocking. You have the guardian card. It talks about the devils. Addictions. You know. Um, this. This guardian blocks every. Whatever you want is on the other side of him. Are you going to be free to let go and do what you need to do to get over there? Because love is waiting. A person. Someone wants to come in. And offer you. Their cup. Two people giving. One heart, two hearts becoming one, pouring in equally, okay? And for once in your life, they're going to, because you're always the one to love hard, okay? They're going to even love you harder, okay? So spirit is saying, you got to let that go so this new can come in. You got to let the old go so the new can come in. It wants to come, but it can't come on because physically somebody's there. And then for some of you, energetically, there's no room for them to come in, Okay? Also, at the bottom right here, 
is here is the word that spirit wants Leo to keep at the forefront of your mind in the month of June. Okay. All right. Okay. Aww. Okay. Spirit wants you to know that you have the strength. Okay. And the magic. Okay. To create wholeness in your life. Not in a person, but in yourself. Because when you create wholeness in, in yourself, that's when your abundance and everything that you desire comes to you. Because you're whole. So whole will come to you. Okay? So that's what spirit wants you to focus on in the month of June, Leo. You got this, my lovelies, okay? You got this, babies. I'm telling you, okay? So if you felt like this resonated with you and you want to like dig deeper in it, don't f feel free to uh, book a personal reading with me. Um, I'm be glad to help you go more in depth with this. Also, you are a fire sign, Leo, so you might want to head over to the fire sign um, bonus message that I gave for, for for fire signs in the month of June. This really resonated with um, really resonated with that. So you really want to, I forgot, I don't think I mentioned that in the beginning, but you guys really want to head over there to the fire sign spiritual, all fire sign spiritual message. You know what? I'm going to link it below, okay? I'm going to link it in the fire sign so you guys can find that video. But also go check that out and get that, you know, the other information that spirit has for you because I feel like, Leo, you need to hear this. I'm telling you because ultimately... You're going to come out, huh? You're, you're, you're on your shit, period. Your love life might be, you know what I'm saying, got a little tweak in here, but for real, for real, you're on your shit, Leo. So don't feel too bad. At the end of the day, it's a part of the process. It's a part of the life lesson that we're going through that ultimately is going to bring you the desires of your heart, okay? So I love you, and as always, I am sending you guys so much love, so much light, and so much peace. Do not forget to comment, like, subscribe, hit the bell to get the notifications also. Thank you guys for donating to my channels and booking personal readings with me. You guys are so dope and amazing, okay? And I will see you in the next video.